Maybe that's uh, out at the range again. I have my 6.5 by uh, 5.3 R Dutch man liquor. Uh, I've been having some issues blowing primers. I don't know. I think it was loose primer pockets. I don't know. But normally you use a 303 British brass and you're converting it to uh, the uh, Dutch 6.5. I did discover that 34 crank brass can be converted to the 6.5 Dutch. So what I did was I bought I bought an extra bolt off a gun broker. One minute to cease fire. One minute to cease fire. And I switched the bolt head out here. I just did a test fire with 30, 40 Craig brass, and the first shot was pretty good. It ran at 2,236 feet per second, which might be a little fast. I don't know. So we're going to do a little more test firing at 50 yards. Uh, I'm going to go down there at the break and switch out the target. And uh, we'll do some shots and see how we do with uh, this load. It's uh, right now I'm shooting um, IMR 4895, 31 grains, and I'm using a Hornady SP interlock 130 grain bullet, and it is a resized bullet from a 270 caliber bullet. And uh, it fits my bore. I resize these uh, full metal jacket bullets to uh, fit my bore, and it seems to work okay. Um, so let's fire, 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 all right, I know you can't see down there, but uh, we're at 50 yards and we're down to change the target. And here in a few minutes, they'll allow, the, allow us to commence firing. And we're going to run some through here and see how it All right, some of you know, Dutch Manlicker uses an end block clip. And it is a five in block clip. So let's uh, see what we do. Seven. The speed is really good. I don't have any sign of overpressure. Twenty-two twenty-six. That is a very nice tight group. I think I've found the problems. I think part of the issue was loose primer pockets. I also backed the die out, the sizing die, just a little bit so that it fit tighter in the chamber. Um, 
I'm going to call that a success. We're going to uh, continue with that particular load. Obviously, I'm shooting high, but that's to be expected at 50 yards with uh, stock military sights at the lowest setting. What I normally do once I get the load right, if I want to drop the elevation without ruining anything, I'll use a little JB Weld putty on the front sight and it'll bring this down closer to zero. But uh, this looks like uh, I've finally figured out how to shoot this uh, Dutch Mannlicher carbine. That is awesome.